The state of Florida's American Indian ties go back centuries, and in honor of Archaeological Month, Sarasota County Historical Resources is highlighting that rich history. ABC 7's Bo Beth Gates is here with more details. Bo Beth. Well, it's a history lesson told through art about people and a time rarely mentioned. I wanted to uh, bring them back to life, so to speak. They're images long forgotten that tell a story only few know. Uh, back when I started researching all this, and uh, there was like nothing in the library about them as far as visually goes. I worked with a lot of archaeologists, and I decided I was, I'll just go ahead and paint a couple pictures. Artist Theodore Morse spent the last 15 years creating the Florida Lost Tribe exhibit. The collection includes paintings like this one, which shows the indigenous people and the actual artifacts they were using at the time. The ones I paint are the ones that were here when the Europeans arrived, so that was before the Seminoles. You know, I want people to see them and understand there was like this great layer of history that most a lot of people don't even realize. County officials say there's a huge demand to learn more about the past, and the Lost Tribe exhibit is helping make that happen. Our job is to promote these places and connect people with the past and uh, in order to encourage people to learn more about the past and to foster an appreciation for history. Officials say the paintings are true to life, done with the help of history books and archaeological findings. And the background and props displayed in the pictures help define the tribe and those who once roamed the area. Florida's Lost Tribes exhibit really puts a face to the people who lived, loved, and died here uh, in, in our past. The Florida Lost Tribe exhibit is opening Friday at the historical Chidsey building and is next to the Sarasota Arts Center.